when you see me drift astray at a touch and at a place will you tell me to my face the next you can hang with me and if you do me right i'm gonna do right by you and if you keep it tight i'm gonna confide in you i know what's on your mind there will be time for that too if you hang Do you want to meet in my office or talk in my office, I mean? That would be great. All right. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, come on. I'll take those. For the most part, you, you got the formatting down, the way I'm kind of requiring you to do it. When you make some formatting errors, uh, I mark those, whether it's regarding all caps or italics or indentation or double spacing. So you'll see those places where you're not quite up to format 100%. And one goal, albeit maybe a small goal, is to have that formatting in full working order for this next play. So uh, how are things going for you this term? Everything good? Yeah, good, you know, week four. Yeah? Yeah. The students pretty good? Sure. They're always good. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about you? What's going on? Um, <laughs> well, okay. I, um... I might be in a bit of a predicament. This would be kind of an interesting character. Someone who's kind of hyperly affected by tsunamis and floods and forest fires. Is this something school related? <sighs> kind of. <sighs> Understanding that I really want to to stay in this in this field for as long as I possibly can. And I love teaching. Do you know Bill, who works over in the, um, you know, over in uh, Burlington Hall, it, it's like, he, he's the custodian there. Bill. I think I know Bill. Okay, yeah. <coughs> he's great, and he's been here for I don't even know how long, since it was built, and, and, and he's such a nice person. And, well, okay, so the other day, I was, um, I was over there, I was, and, and I, um, I, I got my period. Most of us don't have the luxury, if you will, to go through life paralyzed by 
by, by the world events, although it would be a natural response to, to do so. I went to the bathroom and took care of my business, but then I accidentally lost my business in the toilet and I didn't want to fish it out. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to flush it, you know, because, and you know, you see, and in the women's room there was that sign that says don't flush, and I, because it'll block up the toilet. But I was like, it's not really going to block up the toilet, but it blocked up the toilet. All right. And, and Bill had to come and take care of things. You went and told him. I did. All right. I did. And I didn't tell him I did it. Well, you'd be quickly looking in your play for some type of, some type, some type of action or some type of situation that forced your character, Professor Schwerer, to, to move ahead despite this malaise. Lately, it's hard to get out of bed and do anything. Everything seems to require so much effort that it's becoming difficult to maintain a job and friends. I feel terrible. Well, it sounds like you handled everything fine. That's not it. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, it's uh, um, something uh, that's, I guess, a little difficult for me, but uh, um, a colleague came to me and it seems she's having some some um, uh, problems, and uh, they are in some ways school related, and and I, I want to support her, and I, and I feel like it would be good to, to talk to you and, and see maybe how much I needed to, to get involved and share with you or, or not. Um, and it might seem impossibly vague, but uh, um, but that's that's why I'm here. Not to get very far in the book until you encounter this domino theory that's all about plot and action. Hey, listen, I you know I, I think you I wouldn't worry about it. Like it sounds like he handled things and, and you handled it. things. That's and, not it, Fred. That's not it. You can give me nothing on the the nature of these problems. Sure, sure, sure. I think this she's maybe feeling some some stress like we 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 might all feel and that there's a trigger. Hamlet's father's ghost appears to them. It's just like, my life is mundane. My life is boring. I don't do anything exciting. I go to work, I teach classes, I come home, I make something sensible for dinner. And then that results, that actually results in a heat, or some kind of result. And then I go to bed and I wake up and I teach and I grade and I teach and I grade and I eat sensibly. That's all I do. And from that result, you throw up another domino, another trigger, and boom, that leads to another thing. And I need to experience absolutely, life. Absolutely, absolutely. Right? I mean, that's what I tell my students all the time. You can't live in a box. And then offering to us a course of action via the wisdom that a character could take. So I I'm just going to go home. I'm going to go home, I'm going to make myself a drink, and I'm going to relax. Or, interestingly, maybe more interestingly, the character would refuse to take. Or, or not realize that is a solution? So I got, I got out the whiskey and I started drinking whiskey. And then I went to the bathroom and I saw that I had a bottle of Robitussin in my cupboard. She's done some things that I think she wish she, she hadn't done. And um, they in some ways involved some time spent on campus property, I think, in, in, in ways she, she understands was, was maybe not appropriate and, and are you and, referring to Kate Kastner? I, I am, I am, I am. Mm -hmm. Can I assume she's come to talk to you as well too maybe? We can assume that I've heard some things. Yeah, okay. Well that's why I'm here, to, to, to support her and, and talk with you about it. And... What do you have to say? Well, what I guess do you, I mean I'm trying to gauge how much I should be involved um, in terms of being an advocate for her or, or, or talking with more with her. I guess you might very well know, um, have a wholer picture than, than I do of the situation at this point. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you tell me what you know? Emotional patterns in which you feel the most stuck and powerless are the places that invite the greatest patience, compassion, transformation. So if you've got Joe Smo or Jane Schmain in the office and she's suffering from the fact that there's been a tsunami 7,000 miles away, I guess she could be prompted to... What? I wanted to do something dangerous. Okay. And, and so I was like, okay, well, I don't know any people who I can get drugs from, really. I mean, and I'm not gonna ask a student, that would be ridiculous. 
Well, I know that she had um, perhaps a rough day on campus and suffered some, maybe some embarrassment and, and then went home and, and had uh, a, maybe a difficult night of it. And, um, and then I saw that bottle of Robitussin and I was like, oh. And I think she might feel like she's overstepped some, some bounds with, with colleagues. And, and, and to say the least. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, we could come in after the first page, we know all that already. The character could, could be confessing to a friend that this is what happened. And have you ever had a bottle of rope with us? Have you ever done that? I, I don't think so, but you know, I think I know what okay. you're saying. You, you, you'd had a hard day, and, and maybe no, well, you, you thought... No, you drink the bottle of yeah. rope with us, and you drink the whole bottle. And there you see some big existential things that the character could be um, explicitly or implicitly wrestling with. You get the point. It's more expensive, I think, this than LSD. you've done before. I don't mean to well, laugh, I did it when I was yeah. a senior in high okay, school. Okay, and so my, this, did this yeah. help kind of with your day and everything? Because, you know, the whole period thing. And... Well, in a way. Well, I guess what you're also looking for for Tuesday is ideas for your play. And expanding upon your assignment would certainly be appropriate if you're interested in them. You also have by now a, a healthy handful of who's what's and where's. And if you look back in your journal, you'd find some brainstorming about ideas for plays. What's that? What's that? I, I, I have to ask, why you? Why me? Just out of curiosity, why, why are you here particularly advocating for her? I mean, give, given what she's done, well, which is yeah. fairly f <laughs> far beyond the boundaries of propriety for anyone, Mm -hmm. let alone a representative of this university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, not sure, I just... About the play you want us to write. I've been thinking about an idea for a play, and, um... <laughs> it was... Like, I had all these ideas for this play I wanted to write. In my head, I was in Egypt, right? And I was, I was like, on this roller coaster. Thing is... I guess I should get this back, sorry. Um, my grandmother has Alzheimer's, and that's... Um, but then I decided that I didn't want to be by myself. Okay. Right? So I actually I actually got in my car. Oh, dear. I yeah. know. Which isn't smart, but it was fine. She didn't ask me to go to anyone, but I felt that that would probably be, you know, a good thing to do. So I went down to the watering hole, and I just, they were having karaoke, which is, you know, hilarious and awesome. I mean, I was a rock star, uh -huh. you know, and everybody was loving it. One thing that does concern me is, is she seems distraught, and maybe not thinking clearly. Okay. I mean, I don't know if they were loving it or not. I don't even, I mean, because I couldn't really tell who they were or mm -hmm. what they were anymore, because it was like, sometimes they were people, and sometimes they were goblins. You know, she's... She's getting up there and years, and I, I don't want to think about it. And it's one of those things where I want to talk about it. I want to find some way to deal with it because most of my family, I mean, my mom deals with it every day, but the rest of my family, we, it's like taboo. We don't mm -hmm. really talk about it or worry about it. I mean, it's brought up, but it's so clinical. Yeah. And yeah. I wanted to do a play about that, just how like people deal with that type of like. It's like she's dead already, mm -hmm. but she's not. Right. And I still remember what she was like prior to that. So I, so I went and I did that, and I know I did that, and then I don't really know exactly what happened, but I think I went to the bathroom and took some suggestive pictures of myself. Mm -hmm. You mentioned some activity she had on her cell phone, and I didn't realize that it had spread to Act this extent. Activity on her cell phone. Yeah. She sent lewd pictures to at least three persons. Did you know people who uh, were at the bar that night? Not really. But I didn't send it to anybody there. No, no, I just okay. sent it to like to people in my contacts. All right. All right. So there were a couple people who probably should not have received. No, wait, when was all this? When did this happen? When you <sighs> Two nights ago. Two nights ago. Two nights ago. Have you heard from any of them? Yeah. Okay. And I don't know if she described the content of these photos to you, but from what I've heard, they were shocking. But not in a negative way. All right. In kind right. of a 
fun, this is cool way, but it's not cool. It's probably not cool. So what's, what's not cool? Well, then I decided I needed to go to campus. That night? Yeah. After the bar? After the bar. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to separate. Like, it's hard to separate myself from the play. It's hard to be subjective, I guess, would be the word. Is that the word? Sure, sure. Yeah, objective. Like, objective, yeah. that's uh -huh. the word, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just hard to be objective about that. I have a key. I have a master key, right? Because it gets me into pretty much any room. And I've been so stressed out about tenure and about and, and about trying to write and trying to get everything so, done. I think her own memory, it's possible, it is, is sketchy on some of that. And, and so one thing I did was encourage her to maybe seek some uh, university counseling service because I think there was a, a moment there in which she was not acting rationally and, and that this is not maybe indicative of her character so much as, as a stressful exception to it. And I don't know, I think counseling might be a good, not to tell you your job, but I think counseling would be a good first step maybe, or at least a necessary step somewhere. Okay, I decided to go to Dr. Newton's house because he also pissed me off. And I took his dog. I agree that counseling is necessary and uh, according to this, counseling for Professor Newton's dog might also be necessary. I do want to help you, you for sure. Like I want to be like, a, you know, there for you for all this stuff. Was, was this, was he home when you went to his house to get his dog? Um, what if you wrote the play with the idea that you weren't going to show it to him? I don't think. But I, I don't know where he would have been otherwise. I mean, he might have been home. He was probably home, right? But you were inside the house. And you took the dog Technically, yes. away? Yes. Okay. okay. I, I just thought he, I don't know, I don't know if I thought he needed a walk or if, I, I, or if I just, I, I don't know. I have my own dog. I don't need his dog. I, I, but you don't still, a, still have his dog, do you? No. Okay. I don't know where his dog is. He was found in a supply closet in Blackington Hall wearing women's clothing. I think I might have been naked in public for a while because when I got home I don't think I was wearing any clothes because I couldn't find the clothes in the house or in my car. And let me just tell you for a moment what they found in the clothing that was found on the dog. So I think at some point I had just abandoned all of my clothes yeah. somewhere but I don't know when in the evening mm -hmm. that happened or maybe I, I don't know. I don't know when. Yeah. That actually happened. So, there's some nudity issues. A set of master keys reported missing on September 15th by Bill Locker, our head custodian. And being that she did have the master keys, the mind boggles at what other damage she may have done that we have not yet discovered. And I took his mouse. Because... His computer mouse. Mm -hmm. And I rubbed it on my butt. So, unless we've encountered the world's first cross-dressing dog... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I dare say that, yes, counseling will be necessary. Mm -hmm. can, can I ask how much of this was, was, was self-reported on her part? And how much of it's kind of come, come to you from other sources? So far, the entirety of this has come to me from other sources. Mm -hmm. I don't know, something just... Something just snapped, and I realized that I needed to, I needed to just take responsibility for my actions, you know? I needed to, I, I needed to, to just let it all, lay it out on the table, you know, go through everything that I've, I've done, and I don't want my glory days to be behind me, I'm not that, you know, I'm not there yet. But you, well, you, you had, this, you had this rough night for sure, and that's not too far behind you, maybe you're still kind of exhausted from it, and, and we could think about just, if you have the damage control kind of under control from that night and then these bigger issues like we can we you, you can we can keep talking about those and deal with those you know yeah and that way you might feel safe to explore whatever is difficult about the subject now i kind of like that yeah that, that could work yeah. I mean. well i okay i am getting published yeah i well, am yeah. i i got i got uh, some paperwork about it last week well this is some good news yeah I, um, 
It's a poem. Well, good. That's great. That's great. <laughs> well, yeah. No. Yeah. No, it's 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 not. It's it. It's not my poem. So wait. I think there's a way to understand this day as as an exception, as a, a, a truly a bad day, and to show some room for for some forgiveness. And and there's a chance maybe there's could be some effort to get the whole story kind of give it some time to all come together because she really did feel like she had done some plagiarism. And this is someone else's poem. All right, not published yet. Yeah. Okay, so I think you know we again thinking about damage control. We just got to get you maybe somehow back on track in terms of these crazy, well, I don't mean to say crazy, but like the plagiarism potentially, what someone might call it, well, yeah, the, the night of drinking and the Robitussin. Right. So yeah, how but can, it's your what? poem. Mm -hmm. It's one of yours. And I, it was one of those things like, like mm -hmm. I, I mean, you'd send it to me and I read it, it was amazing and absolutely brilliant. And then I just saw that thing and I was like, yeah, what are the so, chances, so you know? Yeah, and and yeah. I, I don't, I, and what I was thinking of was maybe just like, contacting them and just saying hey that was you know well that's what you have to do you know yeah um you know and i didn't know if it, like maybe we could say it was co-written it was just her not really quite remembering how she was submitting some stuff for me and i think her mind's clouded in a lot of ways and, and several indiscretions have certainly been committed it's not it, it has nothing to do with my feelings on the matter yeah. And plagiarism was involved, perhaps not with your work, as you say, but from what my understanding is. I just do want to help you, for sure. This journal's called World Within. Yeah. Within. We, we, we need to contact them. And, and but I think this is a good first step. Like, I just need to... Well, it's a step, to, for to, sure. Um, you know, come clean about... I also need to talk to Kristen. Um, Kristen... Professor Smith has apparently brought forth accusations, and these accusations appear to be founded, that Ms. Kastner certainly plagiarized one of her works. Hmm. It was, according to this, Dickens in the Modern World, Please, Sir, May I Have More, was submitted by Ms. Kastner, apparently, as one of her works, and this was later found to be untrue. And that was just the beginning mm -hmm. of her... Uh, Indiscretions, shall we call them? Mm -hmm. I'd be glad to help you with it and, and work with you on it if you want me to. I think I appreciate that. Great. Thanks. Cool. You're welcome. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Right. Have a good day. Frederick, I, I. The last place you want to put yourself is in close proximity to Miss Kastner at this point. I believe that you, you should think very carefully before you advocate too strongly on her part, given the nature of her indiscretions. Was there something else? No, I feel better. Oh, all right, all right. And you don't hate me? No, no, I don't, don't hate you, I'm sure. Thanks, Fred. Yeah. Sorry about all that. Professor Schwerer. Frederick. It's gone too far. The entire school knows of this. Mm -hmm. It's not only up to me. If it were only up to me, if this were contained, perhaps there is something I could do. I'm not sure that I would, but perhaps there would be something I could do, but at this point, it is out of my hands. Is this in the president's hands now? Is that, is that I would now? say, very much say so, yes. Um, and the, the president and the board of directors and <laughs> and the news and the blogs and mm -hmm. the student union. Well, well, so far as insofar as I was involved in her hire, and I do my, see myself as a type of mentor, and had hoped to, and I'm hoping to move her through the tenure process. Could could you arrange for me maybe to have a sit down with the president and someone from human resources or university counseling? And maybe have Kate in the room as well. I, I feel like having these one-on-one -on -one engagements with Kate does kind of give you access to her character, maybe distorted by whatever reports you're getting. I'll see what I can do, if only out of respect for your service to this university over the years. Well, thank you, Dean Patcher. I, I appreciate that. Fair enough. I will see what I can do. 
although I don't believe that will be much at this point. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. You have a good day. You too. Right.